Okay, we're back to box four. Woohoo! And look, it's empty. Uh, no, we're not at the end of box four. We're kind of, well, I decided to do something different. I took out everything in box four and I made a pile of stuff that is either on my thread already or that I buy repeatedly, um, like Logan's Run or Work of the Killer Whale or The Exorcist 2 for whatever reason. Things like that. They're just repeats or things that are on my thread. So I pulled those out. We're not going to do those. And then I have another pile here that I'm going to do maybe tomorrow. That'll be uh, number three. But then I have this pile here that I'm going to do right now. So there should only be three videos in this um, for this box. <sighs> oh, boy. Um, this first one is DC Cab, the Mr. T comedy. I don't know. I never saw it, but um, I pity the fool that doesn't have a copy of the DC Cab poster. It's just tacky because it has Mr. T. Um, Yahoo. Um, yay. Um, the next half a dozen or so are really, really, like, where did these come from? I did not buy these. They must have been freebies or, like, crappy posters for crappy movies you've never heard of before. Waiting for Gavrilov? Okay. From Mao to Mozart? How did I get this? I would never buy this. Never heard of the movie. Uh, the Flight of the Eagle. My, it's apparently an Academy Award nominee, but boring poster. Why would I ever want that? Something, I don't know what this is. What do I tell the boys at the station? Not as bad as the others. It has interesting cartoony art at least, but... Um, I don't know anything about the movie. Here's another boring one. Beaupère. No idea what this is. Oh, here's another piece of crap. Oh, get up there. Go. Huh. Another piece of crap, the murder clinic. This is in poor shape. No interest at all on this poster. It's just like, what is this? Who made this ripped? I don't know. Whatever the hell it is. Murder clinic. And then this poster is in terrible condition. Satin bug. I don't know if you can. It's stained. It's water stained. Can you see the stains? Uh, there's tape everywhere. It's just... I don't know how I got this poster or why I have it, but I didn't... I know I didn't go out of my way to buy this. It must have been a freebie. There's like a big ink stain there. There's like all this tape on the back. Why bother saving that poster? There's ink up there. Ugh. Okay. And then this poster I actually did buy. The Secret... No, sorry. The Private Lives of Adam and Eve. Starring Mickey Rooney, Mamie Van Doren, Fane, Faye Spain. If you know who Faye Spain was. Mel Torme, Marty Miller, Martin Miller from um, Adam 12. Uh, Tuesday Weld and Paul Anka. You'll meet Satan sinners. Oh, my stars. For the first time, see the Garden of Eden spectacular. Ooh, and it's produced by Albert Zugsmith. Albert Zugsmith is the one that did Movie Star American Style or LSD I Hate You. And he also did uh, Sex and the College Girl. No, Sex Kittens Go to College. That's what it was called. Um, I have no idea what this is. Jungle Wilderness? This is one of those weird ones. I don't know where this came from. Curse with Eternal Youth. St uh, who's Constance Bennett is in this. That's the only person I recognize. She's the sister of Joan Bennett, if you remember from Dark the Shadows, the original one. That was um, uh, the matriarch, Elizabeth Stoddard. That's her sister. She kind of looks like her, too, if you can see her. Um, something called The Pink Angels. No idea where this is from again like the other one it's got some fun cartoony art but I don't know anything about the movie and then this I'm sure I bought it looks like a something for me a black exploitation movie black Samson but and it's in great condition too except it's got a snipe over the rating dang it not that I would ever seen the paying this poster but it's too bad it's got the snipe Ugh. and I like my black exploitation as you know. 
And then this one's a fun one. Island of Lost Girls. Are you paying attention, Steve? Girl Snatchers. Their virgin skin violated and tortured in a hellhole of lost souls. Ooh. Actually filmed in all the exotic lands where it really happened. Zowie. <clears throat> and then over here, uh, little Laura and Big John with Fabian and Karen Black. Okay. No idea. And then Popeye, the Robin Williams movie that visually was perfect, but story-wise, I was bored to tears. And then Garden of the Dead, in, filmed in dead color. Ooh, wow. I probably already have this poster on my thread. Oh, well, whatever. You can get over it. And then some, the, a Disney thing, which is kind of put in their vault, so dear to my heart. I think it's kind of not going to ever see the light of day again. I think it's kind of along the lines of um, Song of the South or something where it's not exactly PC. I don't know. I have never seen the movie, but I'm just kind of guessing. Um, and then we have... The Perils of Gwendolyn in the Land of the Yik Yak, starring Tawny Katan. Um, I, I saw this in the theater, and it was kind of like a rip-off of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Trying to be a little bit more, I don't know, sexy, I suppose, but it, not succeeding terribly well. However, I understand there's an unrated version out there that is a bit more uh, <laughs> titillating than, than the R-rated version I saw as a young adult. 84. Yes, I was a young adult then. Uh, and then we have Hunk, which is a Crown International picture. It's about this nerdy guy who makes a deal with the devil, James Coco, and becomes, you know, this handsome man who's after this girl, but the girl's working for the devil, so it's a cute little movie. Avery Schreiber, do you remember him? He was it. <laughs> and then I have Dracula, the um, Dan Curtis production starring Jack Palance. I'm guessing this is a British poster. It's smaller than... I don't know where this is. I got this from, actually, but I'm glad I have it, because it's cool. And then, oh, I love this one, too. Look at this. The Terror Knots. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I love that. The Virgin Sacrifice to the Gods of a Ghastly Galaxy. Ooh. And then, and the Jaws 2 re-release. I've got a million of these, too. So you'll probably never see one of these again in my little videos, because I got at least half a dozen. <laughs> uh, Dead Eyes of... Uh-oh. Dead Eyes of London. Um, okay. Hang on, my battery's dying. Did it switch over? Whatever. Ah, damn it. Uh, Tarzan the Magnificent. Hang on. Why isn't it not charging? Hmm. Tarzan the Magnificent. I'm trying to hurry before my battery dies. You know, I like my Tarzan movies. This poster is for House Calls. It was a comedy in the 70s, I believe. Maybe the early 80s. I hated it. I thought it was super boring. My aunt loved it. And so I was going to get this for her. My aunt was, and my aunt and I were very close. She was my favorite relative outside of my mother and my grandmother. And I was going to frame it for her and give it to her. And then she died. So it never got to happen. So there's house calls for my aunt. And this movie's always drove me insane. It's called Sorceress, but it should have been called Sorceresses. Because there was two. There were these twin girls, Lee Harris and Lynette Harris in the movie. Not just one chick, but two. Not that it matters. It was kind of a silly little sword and sandal movie, but whatever. I saw it. And then, ooh, squirm. Ooh, ah. Love that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Drew. 
Drew Struz and I believe did the art on this. This is from 1976. And then something called Death Machines. No idea, but there it is. And I gotta hurry, I'm running out of battery. Uh, okay, uh, Hercules in the Haunted World. This is one of the better Hercules movies. When they did something supernatural or there were monsters involved or something, it was always better than the typical Hercules movie. So, and it was done by Mario Bava, directed by Mario Bava, if you know who that is. And then, ugh, I have no idea why I have this piece of crap. In Search of Noah's Ark. It's one of those Sun Classic International pictures. I did see this movie at the drive-in with my grandpa when I was, what, how old was this? I was 11 years old when this came out. Went to the Starlight Drive-In to see this with my grandpa. Oh boy, but why the hell do I have the poster? I have no idea. <coughs> the Horror of Snape Island. Ooh, that's a cool one. Look at that poster. Wow, they got a head flopping off here from a body, and you've got some some shocking stuff going on. Ooh, spooky. And then we have Doc Savage. And I gotta hurry. I'm so running out of power. And then I have no idea where I got this either. This is not a Sean or a Monster Gogo -Go type of poster, but Bear Island. Okay, I have it. I don't know. I don't want it. And then this movie, Bloodlust. It's kind of like the most. Da it's a ripoff of the most dangerous game. Uh, why do I have this poster? Well, aside from the fact that it's a poster. <laughs> It also stars Robert Reed, who was the dad on The Brady Bunch. If you don't know who that... Um, and then there he is right there. This is 1961. And if you've ever seen this movie, you'll notice not only is the dad from The Brady Bunch in it, but the horse statue they have in their living room in The Brady Bunch, you know where the vase is, that the basketball, they were playing ball in the house and they broke the vase. There's a horse statue there on that little cabinet. There's one just like it in this movie. It's like, how bizarre. There's Mr. Brady, and there's the horse statue, and it's weird. Anyway, no big deal. Uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Almost done. The Blade Master. This is a sequel to Ator, the Fighting Eagle, and it stars Miles O'Keefe, if you know who that is. Miles O'Keefe was the man that Bo Derek. Was it, it was, he was Tarzan in the Bo Derek Tarzan. So, there's, whatever. And then, Seeds of Evil. Ooh, also known as the Gardener. Uh, very cool. Oh. And then, Tunnel Vision. This was like a little skit comedy thing. Kind of like Kentucky Fried Movie with Chevy Chase, Lorraine Newman, Howard Hessman. And then, last one, The Refrigerator. Ooh. Spooky lettering. Ooh. Rowdy, raunchy, rockin'. I wonder what the terror of The Refrigerator was. I never saw this movie, but I kind of wish I had. Oh, well, that's it for now. I'm running out of battery space. Bye.